Okay, you content creating entrepreneur, you know how it goes when you have an idea and you think, hey, that's a great one, and then it slips away? I'm going to show you in this video how you can grab those ideas, you can stab them, hang on to them using Zoom as a tool. You are going to love this here on Agorapreneurs. Welcome to Agorapreneurs, standing for liberty and freedom, all done peacefully. Now, here is your guide, Terry Brock. Welcome to Agorapreneurs. Now, this is the place where you get to learn about being a lifestyle of being an entrepreneur and living a liberty-loving lifestyle of voluntary action with others. Agorapreneur is actually a word I came up with with my partner, Gina Carr. And it's taken from two important concepts in my life, and you could probably relate to this as well. One is being an entrepreneur. You know that in being an entrepreneur, you get a chance to get out there and create the work that you like and do what you want to do. You get the freedom to do this. You get the idea, do it. You also get the responsibility. And so you have to take ownership and produce results. And agora comes from the Greek word of open spaces. And it's really about living life voluntarily and doing everything, not initiating force or coercion, but creating abundance for yourself and others. And we're just glad to have you here. And by the way, I'm Terry Brock, and I'm your host as we go through this. And if you haven't subscribed to Agorapreneurs yet, hey, what are you waiting for? Come on, go ahead and do it. Then you're going to get all kinds of great ideas that can help you as an entrepreneur, particularly with content creating, which is what we're talking about today. And it's one of those things that are really important. You know that as an entrepreneur, you've got to come up with new ideas. You've got to constantly have new thoughts, new areas that people go, hey, we like that. That's pretty good. He's good. Yeah. Well, what you've got to do is you feed your mind. And then I find what happens is you get ideas from yourself and from others. And what you want to do is you want to remember them. Now, now, don't do like I do. I'm driving along in the car and I get an idea and I go, oh, that's a good idea. I'll remember that. Yeah, right. I can just think my brain is laughing at me. And you know what I'm talking about. You probably done that too. You had an idea and then you forgot it. Well, what we've got to do is we've got to stab that idea. We've got to get it and hold on to it. And there's a way to do that. And that way is very important that was communicated to us long ago by the late, great Earl Nightingale, who wrote the book, The Strangest Secret. And he talked about a way of grabbing ideas when they come to you. Now, what he would do is he would take a pad of paper and a pen and carry that with him. And so he said, would recommend strongly when you get an idea, hey, you got to write it down. Because ideas are fleeting. They slip away quickly and they get away. I, I remember what I was saying? I think, oh, gee, I'll remember it. And then I forget. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. Well, we know what it's like. However, if you have pen and paper, you can write it down. Well, you know what? For years, I would do that. And I still do. Right now, I'll usually carry pen and paper with me to write something down. But there's an even better way to do it today. And that better way to do it would be to capture your voice on a recorded device. So we use all kinds of things. Matter of fact, here's one that I use uh, for quite a while. Don't use it very much now, but this is my Olympus recorder. I love it. And look at this. It's even got a USB attachment there. So you can put your recording here as an MP3 audio and then dump it into the computer. And that works okay. But there's a big problem with that. And the big problem comes that you get all this recording on here. There have been many times that I had a lot of really good ideas here and I didn't step back and listen to them. Yeah, it takes time to listen to them. I didn't have 30 minutes, an hour, two hours to go through and listen to all those really good ideas. And some of them were really good. Some of them weren't quite so good, but it was a time element. But there's a better way to do it today. And that better way today is voice dictation. Think about it. You can talk faster than you can type or definitely write or even worse use the two thumbs system of punching into your cell phone you know what i'm talking about yeah use voice dictation that you have on your smartphone most smartphones have that today and the accuracy is pretty reasonable today and particularly as you use it more there's a lot available there but there's another way you can do it also that you probably have at your fingertips and might not even thought about and that way is using the power of Zoom. Zoom gives you the ability to record your audio and video, yes, and also a transcript if you have the right program with them. And on the lower level programs, they don't have that, but they do on the other, and it's something to look into for you, content creator. You want to look at what you can do. I'll give you an example. 
It was just this last Sunday morning, Gina and I were talking about the week coming ahead, what we're going to do in planning. And one of the things I mentioned to her was what she is doing so well with her email messages. She's getting a lot of good response, good feedback, good results with it. And I thought, how do you do that? And she started telling me, and I thought, wait a minute. I grabbed my cell phone, went into Zoom, and went into a program, started a meeting with Zoom, and then sent it to the cloud recording it because we have the program and the level that will do that. And so what she did is she just said, this is what I'm doing. Here's how I do this. Put it all together. It's a nice, good, rough draft of her ideas. And then when it finished, we waited a little while and then Zoom gave us the video, the audio, which were not as important in this case, but we got the transcript. And the transcript then gives us the ability, gives her the ability to set back, go through it, wordsmith it, language it a little bit, change it around and come up with some great content and come up with great ideas. So this is a powerful idea. What I want you to consider is to think about how you can take your ideas and when you've got them, dump them quickly into text. Because once you get them from your brain into text, you're better off. Now, typing is okay, but you can talk faster than you can type, as I've said so many times. Think about ways you can use tools like Zoom, like your dictation on your mobile device, whatever it is. And that is going to revolutionize your content creation. The faster you can churn out really good quality content, the better off for you, for building your community, getting more subscribers, getting more viewers, etc., etc. So take it to heart and let me know what you think. Please leave a comment below. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Are you doing this now? Is this something that's a good idea? And do you have other questions? I want to hear from you. And don't forget, please subscribe. We love to hear from you and want you to get these as soon as they're available because getting ideas that can help make you money is a good idea to get them soon. I'm Terry Brock with Agorapreneurs. You can reach me, Terry at terrybrock.com, and I'll look forward to hearing from you.